Hey, how's it going everybody? In this video, I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy tutorial to get your keyboard and mouse working properly with Xenia, the Xbox 360 emulator. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you probably already have Xenia on your PC, but I'm also going to assume that maybe some of you don't and you're probably new to emulation and you're just watching tutorial videos. So I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Xenia and also how to get the keyboard and mouse working for it. So the first thing you want to do is go in the description below. I have three links. You're going to want to open all three of those links and follow along with the video. So the first link we're going to go to is xenia.jp slash download. And that's where we're going to get our main file, which is Xenia itself. At the very top of the page, you're going to see a little word that says master. You're going to want to click that. Open that folder up, drag those files into another folder somewhere on your PC. I prefer the desktop, it's just more convenient that way. After that, you want to go to this link, download Zenput. Oh, look at that. Good old slow ass Google Drive. Come on, man, I'm trying to do a quick liggity split tutorial here. We got time to be waiting for you. Right, you want to open this bad boy up, drag those files over to the Xenia folder, and then finally, you want to download this from this link, Gpad Sick. Another snail paste download coming from Google. Open that up. Damn it! Drag those files over to your Xenia folder. All right, now that we got all the files in the folder, just want to double click Xenia, run it, close it down, and you're going to want to double click VJoy Setup and install that. If you have any issues, just run it as administrator, and you should be good. If you have that installed, go to the GP, GPED folder and then double click GPED, hit yes, open it up, and it'll look like this. Now to let you know, the right stick is already mapped to your mouse movement, so all you really got to do is tweak the uh, sensitivity. But yeah, other than that, all the other buttons, it's up to you what you want to map them to on your keyboard. But once you're done, you just want to hit OK. And then when you're ready to start using your keyboard and mouse to play your games, you just want to load up your Xenia with whatever game you got, then press F4. You'll see at the top of the screen it says GPD Sick on and you'll hear that cool noise and then when you're ready to use your keyboard and mouse like it's meant to be you just hit f4 again it'll turn gpd sick off so i'm going to show you this in action right quick using my Xenia folder all right we're going to go to my gpd now this is my button layout if you want to copy this that's fine this is the way i like it I think everything is in the right spot. But yeah, we're going to open that. Then we got to open my Xenia. We'll load up Saints Row, the very, very first one. Start scratching on my boot. We'll hit F11 to make it full screen. And then to get the keyboard and mouse working with it, we're going to press F4. Here we are. You can see, I'm looking around, moving my mouse. Definitely got to tweak my sensitivity though. It's, it's off, but it is still working like a charm. Moving around my character with the keyboard. Winslow is too soft to run this town. Oh. 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 Let's me leave. Lady, oh. just making it easier to beat your ass. <laughs> I need help. Oh, look, this guy's here. tying his shoe. Yeah. Now that is a badass animation that I don't think I've ever seen in any other open world video game before. Somebody tying their Job, shoe. Wife, two kids. Ugh. Huh? Get you fool. Yeah, you there you have it. Two. Keyboard yeah. and mouse. Working thanks to G-Ped sick. What the hell? Get ready! 
Oh shit, homie pulled out a shank. Ah, got jumped on my crew. It's kind of messed up. Got how hilarious this video game is. But yeah, there you have it. I hope my uh, tutorial was easy to understand and you managed to get your keyboard and mouse working for your Zinnia. And uh, if you did, hit that like button. Leave a comment if you're having problems. I don't see why you would. I made sure everything worked properly before I even started to do the tutorial video. So hopefully none of you guys run into any issues because that would suck. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day, great night. Deuces out your caboose.